Good morning, third graders. Today we're going to tackle a question that nobody ever asks. The question, how many inches is it to blank? New York City, B, Los Angeles, C, Mexico City, or D, your choice of another North American city. Got to pick a, a, a city in either Mexico, the United States, or Canada, because we're going to do some virtual driving. Let me show you how you're going to figure this out. The first thing you're going to have to do is pick one of your cities. Please pick from this list, which of course D is your choice. So New York, LA, Mexico, or some real city that you know of. Okay? I'm going to use the city of Chicago to explain how to do this. So please, nobody but me, pick Chicago. Thanks. Okay, check this out. What I'm going to show you is the distance between St. Paul and Chicago. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to first figure it out in miles. I'm just going to look it up, actually. I'm not going to figure it out. But then I'm going to convert it to inches. Now, this is something that's not very practical. We're doing it just for the mathematical practice of converting different distances. So St. Paul is by the yellow guitar pick. Chicago is by the blue guitar pick. And if you look at this, before there were Google Maps and cell phones, people would use this road atlas. Here are the major highways in the country, and people used to memorize and write down like what they were doing before something would beep and tell them to turn right. But anyway, what we're trying to figure out is the distance between St. Paul and Chicago, but then we're going to convert it into inches. Let me show you how to do that. So we're going to use two sheets of paper. This is going to be my like second draft or presentation page. It's just going to have my final answer. So I don't even know what it is yet. But just nice and neat, St. Paul to Chicago is blank and then inches because I don't know the amount yet. I'm going to figure that out. But you're going to need two pieces of paper. One will be kind of like a second draft paper. And then have another paper and I'm labeling it for my video, but I think it's good practice. This is just my workspace scratch paper paper. And this is what I'm going to do all my math on. And I'd love to see this as well as your final draft. Okay? So the first thing I need to do is look up the distance from St. Paul. Everyone, please use St. Paul. If you live in Minneapolis, go ahead and use Minneapolis. Most of us live in St. Paul. So when I think of Chicago, I think my favorite place in Chicago is Wrigley Field, which is right in the heart of Chicago. So it's 401 miles from my door to Wrigley Field. So I'm going to use 401 miles. That's my distance from St. Paul to Chicago. Okay, so watch me do this step by step. These are just some facts about distance. The U.S. and some other countries, England, uh, think Australia, use miles. A lot of other places use kilometers or kilometers, depending on how you say it, all across the world. But our country is still using miles. So notice some of these constants, one foot, 12 inches, and then three feet would be a yard, so 36 inches, and one mile is 5,280 feet. Okay, so that's what I wanna really gonna focus on first, is that one mile is 5,280 feet. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure how many feet it is from St. Paul to Chicago. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so if I was only going one mile, which I'm not, I would take one times 5,280 feet, and that would give me the amount of feet. But I'm not going a foot, I'm going 401 miles. So what I do is I take the distance, 401, and then I'm gonna multiply that times 5,280. That, that will give me the feet. I know I want inches, but I need to get my feet first the way I'm gonna show you this. So feet first, I guess. So I'm gonna take 401, the miles, times 5,280, and that's gonna give me the amount of feet between Chicago and okay. St. Paul. So feel free to use a calculator. So first I'm gonna put my miles in, 401. Okay, that's my Chicago miles. Remember, you're not using Chicago. Now, times the feet, put it in there, 
And please feel free to use a calculator. Yeah, you could figure out how to do this without a calculator, but let's use the calculator. Okay, whoa, that is a lot of feet. That is the amount of feet. I'm gonna write that down in my paper. Whoa, over two million feet. So, 2,117,280 feet to Chicago. Again, nobody talks like this. Nobody says, yeah, you know, it's about 50,000 feet from here to Rochester or whatever it would be. But we're just doing this for the math, for the theoretical purpose of this, getting, getting some ideas. It's a long way. So that's the amount of feet. So now I have the amount of feet. To figure out how many inches that is, I just take the amount of feet times 12, and that'll give me the amount of inches because there is 12 inches in every foot, and I'm looking for inches. So I'm gonna take that number times 12, and that'll give me the amount of inches from St. Paul to so Chicago. Let's review. To get the amount of inches, that's my ultimate end goal. First thing I do is look up the miles to my city. Then I take the amount of miles times 5,280. I just do that. When I do that, my mileage, so to speak, becomes footage or in feet. So now I have the number in feet. Whenever I have my feet number, my foot number, or my amount in feet, then to get inches, I take whatever number that is, I multiply it by 12, and that is going to give me the amount of okay. inches. There's my feet again. Remember how I got that. Now to convert the feet from Chicago to St. Paul, all I do is multiply by 12. So I hit the times 12, boom, not boom, boom. And there are the amount of inches. It's gotta be a lot, right? 25,407,360 inches from St. Paul to Chicago, or more specifically, to Wrigley Field. And that is how you find the amount of miles and then convert into inches. So now I take my answer from my workspace and I just put it on my final copy that I had right from the beginning. So I didn't know what the answer was gonna be, but that was always the question. St. Paul to whatever city you pick is gonna be blank inches. So that's how that's gonna work. So remember, you have choices. If you can't think of a city on your own, why don't you pick A, B, or C? If you wanna pick a city of your own selection, fine with me, as long as we can drive there. Let's not go to Hawaii, please, that would be dangerous. So pick any other city in North America, Mexico, United States, Canada. If I were you, I'd pick something that's interesting and maybe something I'm familiar with. So those are your choices. Remember, D gives you a lot of choice. Remember when you start, you're gonna have a workspace scratch paper where you do your work, and I'd also like to see that. And you're gonna have your like second draft title and answer your own question. So you're gonna have two pieces of paper to start with. Remember, you take your miles times that number, 5,280, to get your feet. Once you get your feet to convert it to inches, you just multiply it by 12, and that is the amount of inches it is in your distant car trip, in your little road trip. This might be an assignment where you wanna pause the video and then do the step and then move on. But I try to summarize in this. Whatever city you're going to, figure out the amount of miles between that city and St. Paul, Minnesota. Once you have the amount of miles, take the amount of miles times 5,280. That'll give you the amount of feet. Once you have the amount of feet, whatever that number will be right here, it's gonna be a pretty big number. Then you multiply it times 12, which will convert it into inches, making an even bigger number. And once you have that number, that's the number that ends up going there. So on your final paper, let me see St. Paul to blank, wherever you're going, and the amount of inches, and it should be a rather large number. I hope you enjoyed your trip. I look forward to 
hearing from you and seeing where you went and how many inches it was and just take it step by step, use a calculator, ask for help from an older brother or sister or, or mom or dad, whoever's handy if you need it, but just follow those steps. Remember, when you're watching the video, might be good to pause it, go from miles to feet, figure that out, and then finally take the feet times 12, and you'll be done. All right, miss you all so, so much. Hope you enjoyed this assignment. Look forward to your answers.